It's an exciting day here on Tech of Tomorrow. Probably the most exciting video card news that we've had since 2016. That's right, since 2016. Nvidia has finally announced their new video cards. Ah! Yes, finally, and guess what? A lot of us were all wrong with all of our speculation. There is no 1180, there is no 1170. None of those cards actually came out. It's actually 2080, 2080 Ti, and 2070. And this time it's kind of unique because right at launch, they're launching their TI card. Now this is something that's usually not done at NVIDIA. Usually the TI card gets released later on down the line and you first off usually get just the 1080, sometimes the 1070s. You know, sometimes I'm saying is you get the 70 models, but this time you're getting all three models right out of the gate. You're getting the 2080, the 2080 TI and the 2070 all out of the gate. And the really big thing about this card is its ability to do ray tracing 10 times faster than the previation, excuse me, than the previous generation card. So 10 times better than a 1080 Ti you're gonna get with 2080 Ti using this ray tracing technology. Now ray tracing pretty much just, it outlines the entire, the, the entire object that you're looking at and makes it so it's much better and easier to look at. It makes the colors much better. This will improve shading, um, all that kind of good stuff. Now obviously, we're not going to have the scores today because the cards were just announced this morning, but as soon as we get our samples in here, we'll bring the scores. Now, like I said, three new cards coming out. First up is the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti at $1,200. That's right, $1,200. Now, this card has 4,352 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1,350 megahertz, a boost clock of 1,635 megahertz. The memory speed is 14 gigabytes per second, 11 gigabytes of GDR6 memory, that's right, GDR6 memory, 352-bit memory interface, memory bandwidth of 616 gigabytes a second, it's a two-slot card, features 260 watts of a power draw, they're saying to use at least a minimum of a 650-watt power supply, and it has two 8-pin power connections. Okay, now those were the specs for the Founders Edition card, but there'll be a non-Founders Edition card being released as well, and it'll only have a couple of difference. It'll have a 250 watt power draw and a boost speed of 1545 megahertz, but those are the only differences beyond the price. Next up is the RTX 2080 Founders Edition card coming to market at $800. Now this particular card has 2,944 CUDA cores, it has a base clock speed of 1,550 megahertz, an overclock speed of 1,800 megahertz, pretty fast stuff there, memory clock speed of 14 gigabytes per second, eight gigabytes of GDDR6. It also features a 256-bit memory interface, a memory bandwidth of 448 gigabytes a second. It's a two-slot card. Recommended power supply is 650 watts, and the power draw is 225 watts off your power supply. Now, the requirements for this card are a single six-pin and a single eight-pin connector. There's also another edition of this card as well. That's the non-founders edition. It comes to market at $700, and the only difference is a boost speed of 700. 10 megahertz and a power draw of 215 watts. Okay, now last but not least, coming into market at $600 is the GeForce RTX 2070 card. Now this card has 2,304 CUDA cores, a base clock speed of 410 megahertz, a boost clock of 1,710 megahertz, not bad once again, 14 gigabytes a second as, as far as the memory speed goes, eight gigabytes of GDR6, 256-bit memory interface, the memory bandwidth, 448 gigabytes a second. It's also a two-slot card like all these cards are. The power draw on this card is 175 watts and it's recommended that you use at least a 550 watt power supply on this particular card. There's also once again a GeForce RTX 2070 non-Founders Edition at $500. The difference in this card is it has a boost clock speed of 1620 megahertz and 185 watt power draw. All right, tech fans, so those are the specs and the cards that are currently coming out. For you guys to have questions on what really RTX stands for, RTX refers to real-time ray tracing, a computationally expensive process of accurately modeling how light bounces between reflective surfaces in a scene. So this means when you have a bunch of things on a scene, the way that the light bounces at it and shows is showed through the ray tracing, which means that the better the ray tracing, the better the image is actually going to look. 
Just to show you how much faster this card is than the current 1080 Ti, a 1080 Ti can do 1.2 giga rays a second, a 2080 Ti can do 10. Wow, that's a big, huge difference and it's really gonna translate into your gameplay. But to see all that stuff, we'll actually have to get the card in-house. As soon as we get these cards in the house, we'll bring all the scores for you, we'll test them out on different systems and bring all that information to you folks. But for now, this is pretty much all the information that's available on these cards on on launch day. So I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tekka tomorrow. Like usual, we'll have a link down below where you guys can check out more stuff about these cards. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited. Like I said, it's been a long time since we've had anything new to talk about. Now, all of these cards are based off the brand new touring architecture. So gone to the past of all the old stuff. We're now into the touring stuff and hopefully here on Tekka tomorrow, we can take a nice little tour with these cards. We'll have the scores. We'll have more stuff for you here on Tekka tomorrow as the cards are arrive. Like usual, we'll have a link down below to all the information for these cards that you can get right now. And like I said, as soon as we get the cards in house, I'll bring you guys the scores. We'll see how much faster these cards really are than the 1080 Ti and why you might want considering upgrading to one of these brand new cards. Peace.